Hey guys, my name is Barry Infos and I'm here to show you how to get billions of dollars in GTA San Andreas the Definitive Edition at the very beginning of the game. I mean sure you could stand in one spot for an hour and 22 minutes and type the cheat has so yum 4000 times which would get you this amount of cash but if you don't wanna waste your time and be labeled as a dirty smelly cheater then you should do what I'll show you in this video. Also don't ask me why I spent almost an hour and a half just to show you this small clip at the beginning, I'm just crazy like that so you should subscribe for more. Anyway what I propose is the inside track betting shop. In just over an hour this simple side mission will bring you a total of 1 billion 1 million 471 thousand 360 dollars. Your results will vary depending on how you approached it and how much cash you started with. This is what I got at the end of this video. First of all we will need a safe house, preferably this one closest to the betting shop, which costs ten thousand dollars. Since we start off with only $350 we need some fast money. What I propose is the drug dealers, in San Andreas there are three official variants. This is how they look by default but they could have randomized clothes as well. Killing one gets you a little over $2,000. Therefore we need to waste 5 of them, they are found all over the ghetto part of San Andreas, namely where you spawn up and down the train tracks, at the skate park and the hospital and also mostly at Glen Park. When you see a dealer simply run him over with your car, get off and collect the money. This one gave me $2,004, the second one is of the same type and gave me $2,009. Immediately afterwards I spotted my third victim, so I took the liberty of ending his life for my personal gain and got $2,004 out of it. The fourth one I found right next to the hospital and he gave me $2,007. Lastly on the train tracks we found our last victim who was the hoodie guy and he dropped $2,010, making our total over $10,000. What we need to do next is to visit this location of the map and spend $10,000 to purchase this property, leaving you with only $384. Again your results will vary slightly. Enter your safe house and save the game. And here is where the fun begins. What we'll do is turn our $384 into this monstrosity in a few easy steps. After saving the game grab any vehicle and head on over to this location of the map. This is the inside betting shop where we are gonna win all our money. This is the route I'm taking, it's the shortest and fastest route so I suggest using it. Once you're in you want to bet all your money on the worst odds horse, which is always the green one on the bottom. A small cutscene will play where you can witness the race itself. Don't worry if your horse does not win, that's why we did all the preparations at the start. We have a safe house so we can just reload our game and get all our money back. So if your horse loses just reload the game, however if you manage to win, which in my case was $4,180 from my $380 bet, you need to head to your new safe house, simply save the game and repeat the process. Immediately after saving get out, hop onto a car, drive to the betting shop and enter it. Choose the green horse on the bottom and pray that it's gonna win. Unfortunately mine did not, so I'll reload my save and try again, still keeping my big pile of cash so I can use it on the track. Here I took a sunrise during night time and bet $4,560 on green. I won 54,720, once again it's back to the safe house for me. It's important to save because you could lose all your money on the next attempt, which I did not do so not cut the footage. The proof is that my car is still parked in front of the house. After saving the game and reloading, 
any vehicle which was not in your garage will disappear. This car did not, which means that I did not reload. So here is the attempt where I bet $59,280 and got $711,360 back. One more time and we'll start winning our millions. See, in just 3 attempts we are crushing it. It's time to visit the track again and become a millionaire once and for all. I bet my $770,640 and won back $8,477,040. One more time and I'll show you how tedious this minigame can get the richer you become. For now let's save. I'll grab my $9,247,684 and bet all of it on green once again. The payout is the insane number of $101,724,400. And here's where things get a little bit annoying. If you don't know the max amount you can bet is $9,999,995, which is less than what we have. This means that instead of it taking you 2-3 more attempts, we have to repeat this many more times. On top of that, we have to click like a madman with our mouse for 5 minutes in the following attempts. Unfortunately, in the definitive edition, there's no way around like rebinding shift for instance with your mouse wheel or using the steam controller. It's either click with your mouse for 5 minutes or press a button on your controller for the same amount of time. But anyway once you bet this amount your winnings depend on which stats were displayed when you were choosing a horse. If it set 11 out of 1 you get this amount back. If it however set 12 out of 1 this is what you get. That's why I propose reloading your game every time you see an 11 out of 1 horse since you save more money reloading for a better one. It's your call. With all this knowledge let's win the race. There we go, it's back to the safe house for us. I saved and did not win my next race so I reloaded. and got myself a primo this time. Once I start entering a bet you'll see me skip some footage. I'm doing this so the video does not become too long. Just remember that it takes me 5 minutes of constant clicking every time I make an attempt. Once again it's a win with the max amount so it's time to save the game. You also notice me stand in one spot for a while after arriving at my house. I'm doing that so you can see how much money I end up with after I win. It's not necessary but for the demonstration I like doing it. For you it's completely not necessary. Simply arrive at the house and save. Here is the next attempt. As always the odds are 12 to 1 since I reload every time I see an 11 out of 1 horse. This means that my winnings will be $119,999,940 which is the max win you can get. It's time to save again. I'm almost halfway done. Almost a half a billion dollars. This time I got a Tahoma from a friendly baller fool and drove back to the betting shop. Ballers can be sometimes very helpful. I got away with a brand new car and also about 120 million in my pocket. So anyway here is me winning. And also me driving back to save. Nothing new or unusual here. What is interesting though is at the very end when things change up a bit. So keep watching.
After saving it's time for a new attempt. I had to reload since I did not win the last time. I stole a sunrise again in the afternoon, which is weird, but whatever. Then drove back to the betting shop. It's also worth pointing out that the frame rate does not matter while betting on horses. They don't move faster and they don't change their physics. You are safe to play at 60 or even at 144 frames if you wish. Anyway, the sunrise gave me lots of luck because I won and it's time to save the game again. Time for a new attempt, this time in a blister compact. Keep at it boys, we have only a few more to go. This might look tedious, but for me using the cheat 4000 times is much worse. This could also be considered cheating, so use it at your own risk. For me it's not cheating, so I'm fine using it. I won the max amount because I bet on a 12 to 1 horse and it's back to the safe house for me in my blister compact. Alright, there we go, only two more left. Well, one and a half even, you'll see when we get there. My trusty blister compact will not let me down this time, since I won twice in a row. Thank you BC, you are my homie. I bet on the green horse, got my cash and it's time to head back. My pockets are very 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 heavy and we have one more attempt left. Let me pause for a second and explain some things. I currently have this amount of cash. The max money displayed is this. In order to reach it on an 11 to 1 horse, we have to bet 5.5 million dollars since we get about 60 million back. Or bet 5 million on a 12 to 1 horse. Betting more is ok, but just waste your time, especially since you would probably do this for a few times until you win. Anyway, back into the game. I abandoned my blister compact for a Tahoma. This Tahoma will make me a billionaire. I got the 11 to 1 horse, so my bet was 5.5 million. And with that I would like to congratulate you guys, you maximized your money! This works on all platforms, on the Definitive Edition and even in the original GTA San Andreas as well. So good luck and have fun! Leave a like if I helped, subscribe for more tutorials, thank you for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons! Monish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, LMP Racing, House the Chowder, Max Rich, Smokeo and everybody else on the screen! Become a supporter today!